Look at this giant. Today I'm doing something a little different, or a lot different really, because I thought I'd never be making a video like this, because honestly I hate unboxing videos. They're normally very boring and just a lot of nothing to me, so I never thought I'd be making this video, but here I am. Anyway, so this is a Tackle Warehouse unboxing that I'm doing here. I've got uh, quite a few baits here. Let me get this organized a little bit, and then I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some of the staples, I guess you could say, of my fishing arsenal. Some of the stuff that I just throw all the time that I buy a lot of. And the first thing I'm going to start here with is the Gambler Flap and Chad. This is a bait that my dad taught me to throw a long time ago when I was a kid. And it has just become a thing, like I said, that I've just, it's just part of my arsenal now that I throw almost every time I go fishing, really. And uh, there's actually a little trick to this bait. It comes as a paddle tail like this, and it's not bad like this. I mean, of course, it's a different style. You can see it's a little bit different than your normal fluke style bait. It doesn't just have a fork tail or just some kind of straight tail. It's a big paddle tail. So when you jerk this through the water normally, the bait goes straight about like this when you jerk it, and that big paddle tail is flapping back there. And it's doing a good job of throwing off a lot of flash and looking generally like a minnow. But, something my dad did, and he taught me to do, and we do it all the time now, every time we throw this bait, is you cut a V in the back section of this bait, and what that does is it just takes a little bit of drag off the back end of this, and when you jerk this bait now, it'll, it'll dart left and right instead of just in a straight line, and we like that darting back and forth action better, we just think it triggers a few more bites. You still get the good flapping action of the tail and a good flash back there, but you also get a little bit more of an erratic darting action back and forth. And I just got two colors of this bait. One of them is a color we throw a lot. It's a good just overall bit, overall color. It's called Copperfield. And it's just a good like green pumpkin with red flake on top. And then just a good whitish kind of shad color bottom to it. Like I said, that's a color that we have thrown a lot. And that's only five bags. I buy a lot of what I use a lot. I mean, I'm not going to go out anywhere with just one or two bags. If I plan on catching a lot of fish in one day, I do not want to run out. So I stock up. Five bags is actually not a large amount. That's just a little bit of restocking. I already have a lot of these baits. But anyway, also, i got another, one, another color here. It's called New Shad. It's a new color to me, actually. I've not thrown it, but it's another just really good shad imitating color. It's got a little bit of gold flake in it. I'm just interested to see if they eat that a little better in certain situations. Another staple in the arsenal here is the uh, Zoom 8 inch Magnum Lizard. This is another deal that my dad likes to throw a lot, and he's got me throwing lately. Magnum Lizard. A lot of people like to throw that 6 inch regular size lizard. It catches fish, no doubt, but I mean this 8-inch, we feel like it doesn't scare off any of the little fish. You'll still catch plenty of little fish on this, plenty of just decent ones. But sometimes it'll trigger that bigger fish to bite when a 6-inch may not. We just, I don't know if that's true, but we just we feel that way and it's a big confidence thing. And uh, also the color we like to choose a lot here is the, this green pumpkin red. A lot of people go with watermelon red, and that's a good color, no doubt, also. But we like the green pumpkin just because it's a little bit darker. So it's a better overall color, we feel like it. Like in darker water, it just gives off a little bit better of a darker profile so they can see the bait better in darker water. Another bait that I love to throw this time of year and all the time, really, is just a little uh, spinner bait here. This is a small profile spinner bait. This is actually specifically for a tournament that I'm fishing this weekend at Lake Travis. But uh, I love throwing a spinnerbait all the time, really. This is a little 3 8 ounce. It's pretty heavy, actually, for the profile that it is. And I like that so that you can slow roll it. Travis has a lot of docks and rock piles and stuff like that. So you can slow roll it real slow and just creep it by stuff and bump it along cover. But it's still got that small profile to it, so you won't be spooking off just good tournament sized fish and this is just a white and chartreuse color 
just another good just overall shad imitating color. I'll put something on the back of this, just like a split tail trailer or maybe a little swim bait, something like that. But anyway, that's just another classic that I love to throw, another staple in my arsenal. Speaking of classics, here is a Lucky Craft Pointer 100. Everybody throws this. This is no secret, especially this time of the year, fall to winter time. But I like throwing it through the spring and summer. I mean, all the time, really, especially in clear water. It's just a good minnow, erratic minnow imitator. And uh, my favorite color is American Shad. It's uh, got like a kind of a chromish side to it, but it's got more fish scales to it. So it's a little more realistic. I like it better than just a straight up chrome. And then it's got some good chartreuse, pink, and blue back to it, and it's just got a good minnow color to it, other than just a straight chrome sided jerk bait. I only got one of those, by the way, because they are expensive, as people know. Lucky Craft is not a cheap brand, so that and Top Water is really the only thing that I'll only buy one of. Everything else you'll see, I have multiples of everything. I do not want to be caught out on the lake or out on the river or wherever I'm fishing, even on a pond, just fishing for fun, doing nothing really. I don't want to be caught catching fish on a bait, have only one of them, lose it, and then not be catching any more fish the rest of the day if that was like you know, the ticket, the, the bait they wanted that day. I do not want to be caught in that situation no matter what. I always want to maximize my fun, my winnings in a tournament, whatever I'm doing, I want to be catching fish. So I do not want to be caught without a bait that I feel like I need for that day. So anyway, you will notice expensive baits like a Lucky Craft and a Top Water is really the only thing that I'll have one of. Speaking of Top Water, this is the Savage Gear Smash Tail Minnow. This is a bait that I'm kind of trying out. I've thrown the Whopper Plopper. It's a lot like the Whopper Plopper. Everybody knows, of course, that's a real hot bait going on right now. This is the uh, Savage Gear Smash Tail Minnow 100. So it's a 100 millimeter size. And it's got a, it's got a thinner body than the Whopper Plopper. So it looks like these this front hook comes out to the sides a little more and should hook better that way. But the most important thing to me, it looks like this tail section here I don't even know. Yeah, I can't even get it to hook on itself. I can't even get it to hook the tail. And if you've ever thrown a whopper plopper, you know that a lot of times when you throw it, especially the smaller ones, like the 90 millimeter, when you throw it out there, that back hook will tangle around the back uh, tail section there, actually, and it will not spin and plop like it's supposed to. And I also feel like that's a lot less hooking percentage when your hook can hit the tail like that and tangle around. I mean, I can't even, I cannot get this tangle around at all, just, I mean, it won't, it will not do it, so I mean, that's a good sign right there to me already. So I feel like that's going to hook a little better, and if it does everything just like a walk plopper, sounds like a walk plopper, runs like one, does everything just like it, and hooks better, I'll definitely be getting this. It's a lot better on your wallet, I'll tell you that, it's about half the price of a walk plopper. Alright, now we're going into things that are, uh kind of out of my league a little bit, stuff that I have not really thrown. But again, you'll notice that I have a lot of them. I've got these big spoons here. This is a Big Daddy Flutter Spoon by Talon Bait Company. And I got this just because I thought it was the perfect looking color scheme for a big spoon like this. I mean, I've never thrown big spoons like this, so I'm not an expert on it, that's for sure. But the color pattern just looks so good to me, I just had to get it. See if I can see what it's called here. It's called Hoochie Shad. It's playing off a of sexy shad, I guess, that Strike King came out with a while back. But anyway, yeah, it's just a big five inch, uh, one and three quarter ounce flutter spoon. And that does a good a lot during this time of year, during the winter time. Uh, the reason I got this bait specifically is actually because I've been having a hard time at Medina, my local lake here, catching fish lately and uh, catching quality fish that is and I feel like this could maybe be something that would just trigger them and something that I haven't tried yet that could maybe get me those bites that I'm looking for but yeah this is a bait that I'm not very proficient with that I want to become proficient with so I'll be trying it at other lakes too not just Medina and lastly what we have here which I'm the most excited about throwing 
is the Strike King XD, the big ones. I've thrown the 5 and the 6 XD, of course. Those are more of a standard size crankbait. They're deep divers, but they're, the bodies are more of a standard size, I would say, than the 8 and the 10 XD that Strike King, Strike King came out with a while back. I have not thrown them yet, and honestly, I have not thrown them because they are 15 to $20 a piece, depending on where you find them. And I'm not going to be throwing a bait... A, crankbait like this that goes 20, 25, 30 feet deep that I only have one or two of because like I said earlier I'm not going to end up in a situation where I catch a giant or start whacking some fish and then I lose the one or two baits that I've got because that's a thing that's going to happen with baits like this. You're just going to lose them. It's going to happen. Yeah, That's something you have to accept when you buy baits like this. So I'm not going to have just one or two of them and smash fish or catch a big one or be in any situation where I don't have another one if I lose it. I want to have a stockpile of them. I want to have a decent amount of them to where I feel like I'm confident that I've got enough to last me through at least a whole day of fishing. So, I got these on sale, on a Black Friday sale on Tackle Warehouse, so they only cost me $9 a piece. I say only. That's still a lot for a crankbait, but I feel like the investment is worth it when you have baits that are this different than other baits. Okay, so what I've got here is, I've got three crankbaits of each style and color that I wanted here. I've got three 8XDs in olive shad, and this is a good, I would say, slightly stained to dirty water crankbait. It's mostly white, so it's got a good loud kind of flashing color to it. White is pretty bright in dirty water, believe it or not. White and chartreuse and then black. You want to be on one side of the spectrum or the other a lot of times when you're in dark water. That makes it easier to see. And then it's got just a good green back to it and a chartreuse stripe. Just some good shad color in there also, but mostly white just to be loud in dirty water. And that's an 8XD. These go 20 feet deep and beyond it says. So I imagine with a 10 to 12 pound line you're probably going 20 feet deep and then if you are brave enough to go lighter than that you can probably get it deeper but realistically probably 20 feet deep is max what you're gonna get out of these but they're also they're not just they don't just dive deeper they've got a pretty big body to them uh, it doesn't say what the body length is on here but I believe they're four and a half or five inches the 8x these are and your average crankbait is three to three and a half inches I would say so that's a substantial size difference already to begin with right there so I think that is what will trigger the bigger bites in addition to getting a little bit deeper where some of the fish live sometimes then the other color we have here is just a real it's called natural shad I was gonna say it's a real natural color that's what it's called natural shad it's just a good clear water bait again it's just an 8xd so it'll go 20 feet deep I imagine Then we've got the big daddy. This is the 10XD. This is, I believe, this is five or five and a half inches. This is a half inch bigger than the 8XD, the body is. And then it says that it dives 25 feet and beyond. So again, I imagine 25 feet is probably realistically what you'll get out of this bait. And then this is a uh, I plan on throwing this bait really in only one lake right now. I plan on throwing it at Falcon Lake. So uh, that's what I got a color that I thought was the perfect just overall good color for any day on Falcon, sunny, cloudy, whatever. Chartreuse Sexy Shad. It's a sexy shad, so it's white. It's got that, like, again, like I said, kind of loud color to it, the white. And it's also got some chartreuse in there for a little more just flash and a little more tilapia kind of maybe color to it. There's a lot of tilapia in that lake, and that's what they eat a lot. So anyway, the 10XD is what I'm planning on throwing pretty much from just at Falcon for now, but maybe after I get a little bit more proficient with it and I get a little more comfortable, I'll start chunking it all sorts of places. I don't know. Alright, well, that's my uh, unboxing video. Like I said, I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I hope it was informational. That was my aim on this. I wanted to not just be a same old, same old unboxing, do some weird, oh, look at this crazy bed I got. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to do something a little informational that would actually help people maybe I don't know anyhow if you like what you see uh, hope you subscribe hope you hit the like button comment do whatever you want to do 
comment to me, whatever you want to say. I'm open for all the love, all the hate, whatever you got, bring it. All I care is that you subscribe. <laughs> anyway, all these uh, products here will be linked in the description below. I uh, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video.